live video with Tay. What is going on around here these days? Um, I'm leaving to camp next week, so I thought I would try to get three live videos in this week, especially because I had so many fun new toys sent to me that I figured just go live. Like there's no time to record and edit anything. Just do it because you know when I get back from camp, there might be more toys coming. So last, this whole week we've done the new HTV Ront Easy Press or Auto Press. And then yesterday I did the Tumblr Press and we made this guy. Um, and I am gonna be doing some more stuff when I get back with tumblers and the press and sublimation with the press and all the things. But before I get started on today's topic, which is the Vivor mug press and does it work like the Cricut mug press? I did film a video on this, but it's in the editing room and it's going to take me a long time and it was really easy to use. So I was like, I'm just going to go live with it because it took me two seconds to figure out. There's a little bit of a like learning curve to setting up the times and stuff, but we'll go over that today. But before we do, I am going to be coming alongside um, Brooklyn Bailey, Mindy McKnight. Um, they are on this RV camping trip right now for 22 days, raising awareness for period poverty. And I love the concept of what they're doing. I wish I could be doing that right now. I'm going to summer camp this week, so I'm kind of doing something fun like that, but it is not to raise awareness for period poverty. But when they were asking for donations and it's every dollar donates 10 period products to somebody who is in need and um, they're raising, they're doing all these really fun challenges and they're trying to get to all 50 states before the 22 days are over. So it's a really fun vlog series to watch, but then it's also just a really fun concept. And I was like, I just want to like, I want to donate, but I don't want to just donate. Like I want to make it fun. And I, how can I come alongside them? So I asked Mindy, can I create a bundle and we can either offer it to my members and then any new members, we donate new membership. Um, we donate a dollar from every new membership or like, how can I come alongside you? Because I've been wanting to do a period uh, emergency kit bundle, but then I also have we started creating the bundle yesterday and I put in like a period tracker and printables and stickers for your period planner and like all these fun things. And so it's like, okay, I'm gonna design it and we're gonna release it today and it'll be available to the members today as you're, if you're watching this video, it's available to my members, but I'm gonna get it to her so that she can show it to people if she wants to. And then um, if, when I get back from camp, we'll continue to raise money for the next, it's now they're about four days in. So for the next 15 ish days, every new member, I'm going to donate a dollar to their cause. And I just love it. But next week after I get back from camp, we will make, oh, there's a sewing pattern in there for period pads. And we're going to talk about period poverty and we'll do some sublimation shirts for it. There'll be a whole bundle that we are gonna use all the new toys that I have for it. So I thought that was a little bit more fun than me just donating in the name of Auntie Tay. I thought it'd be a really fun way to get my community involved as well. So join me next week, cause that'll be fun. Not next week, because I'll be at camp all week. Two weeks from now, I'll be back going live in the studio um, cause we'll have more toys and more fun. But okay, today let's test this out. So this is the Vivor Mug Press dupe. I'm going to call it a dupe. It is on Amazon and I will put a link to this as well as a link yesterday to the heat, the tumbler press, which I totally forgot to do. Um, but guys, these unboxings are not, I, I don't necessarily want to put a link because I'm not saying I believe in this product. I'm saying I'm willing to open this product live. <laughs> um, but in this video also, do not judge the product 100% on my original unboxing because there might be a learning curve to it and we might need to learn it and it might be worth it to work through that learning curve, which I feel like this guy on Monday, at the end of it, I was like, I'm really, really excited to go back and use that. Like, I'm really excited. So 
I have used this before. I am excited to use it. Um, but let's just talk about it. It's a little different, but at the same time, it's cool. So I have three sublimation mugs we're gonna do and I will prep them while this thing heats up and stuff. But let's talk about the differences I already noticed. So when you turn it on, it has the five buttons. The stock setting that it comes with, it'll be orange and this will blink green when it is hot, but it has different temperature settings and pressure, um, time settings. So you can change the time and the temperature, which you cannot do on the crickets. So it's a little bit more difficult in the sense that you have to learn how to change the settings but it's more versatile because you can change the settings, if that makes sense. Also, this comes in black, which if I would have known that, I probably would have asked for the black one because I don't have any cool like heat presses in black. I thought that was really cool. So um, on the box it came in, I have that over there and I've been saving it because I'm like, I need to save the box for the live, but now we're alive and I don't have the box. Um, it has the black one on there. So I thought that was cool, change it up a bit. A lot, I feel like a lot of our um, cutting machines are like more softer colors and I thought that black was just really cool, especially because I have black and white in my branding and I was like, I gotta get my hands on a black one, but we gotta make sure it works first, right? So it's still blinking orange. I played around with the settings on this and ended up going back to the factory settings. So when I do the actual tutorial on how to use and set this thing up, or maybe I go live again and I specifically show you, there's, I don't, I just don't want to mess it up right now, but you, the instructions were really clear. Basically you long press the button and it, you bypass the power button and then it goes into set mode and then you press, there's only one button. So sometimes that can be difficult and sometimes that can be simple, but keep those instructions handy because it's gonna take a while or write them on a sticky note and put them on the back of your machine or something because I feel like it, it's just one of those things that you're like, wait, do I put it on this temperature, or this setting, you know? So it dinged and it's green now. And let me just tell you, the I almost wanted to unplug it and plug it back in, but the little noises that this guy makes is so cute. It sounds like, a little R2-D2. Um, so I know these are things that don't necessarily matter, but they are things that we do enjoy. And I just listened to a really good podcast about finding joy in little things. And I was like, finding joy in the little dings that our machines make can be make or break. Like if you come in to your craft room and you're just trying to get a deep compress from life, and you have a machine that's like blaring at you or making really obnoxious noises, might not be the craft machine you want. So I was very impressed with the cute little dinging noises it makes. Um, but dinging or not, does this thing really work is the problem, is the question. So I have a bunch of sublimation mugs from um, a few different companies and I will do videos. Guys, just let me know in the comments if you're watching the replay. If you're watching the, um, where's everybody at with the comments? I, I'm i reading your guys' comments, but you guys aren't commenting much. So um, probably because I don't talk to you guys much when I'm trying to actually like explain something. So I apologize. Now, first thing I'm noticing, this has that burn off smell, which I believe happens for the first couple uses of every machine you're gonna get on Amazon. That's like what I'm just chalking it up to. Can't say it for every machine, hey Elena, but I will say that I, um, I've i noticed it on every machine that I've gotten. The five in one, the tumbler press from yesterday. Um, this, I did I say this had the burn off smell? I don't think this one did. And it doesn't have like the connect, it just, it just doesn't have that smell, but I'm learning that that smell is just normal. Sorry, Laura, I missed your question. Clarita said, good question, Laura. And Laura, ask it again um, so that I can answer it. But okay, so I have these sheets printed out from a while ago that I've been wanting to put on mugs. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on your guys' questions. I'm gonna cut this one out because, oh snap. 
Did I miss it again? They disappear on the phone really quickly. Um, Bueller, Bueller. You know what, I'm gonna get one ready that I already have cut out while we cut this one out. So I'm gonna make an Oh Bother mug because it's one of my favorite designs that we have. And this is actually an SVG. Um, why would you change the settings if it's all mugs? Right, but you don't have to just do mugs in this. So the Cricut Mug Press is called the Mug Press for a reason, whereas this, I'm pretty sure you can do tumblers. Oh, I almost gave away what it does, but um, you can do tumblers and stuff. Like it's made to work with tumblers as well. So it has this really cool auto sizing on it so i will which this thing is at like a hundred dollars versus 200 i believe that's the price range on this so it's a lot cheaper but i think it actually does more um but what i was saying was i'm using svgs from our membership and i have a video on this exact printout i made by uploading a bunch of svgs to canva and making this mug sheet that i have tons of designs i want to import even more because this has been really nice to have just sheets printed out like this that i can just grab a design from this one is from last year and we've used about half of it but we did some demos on amazon live but like every svg i brought in as an svg onto canva you can change the colors um you can't pattern fill so if you like to pattern fill i like silhouette studio for that but um if you're wondering, all of our SVGs can be used as sublimation uh, if you print them out as such. And I like to use Canva to turn them into JPEGs and stuff. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna make an O Bother mug and I'll do it for the right-handers. You can do this on both sides as well, but just for teaching purposes, I want to get it done. I can always pop it in again later and do the other side as well. I will be, as I'm working more with these machines, will be coming out with lots of templates. So templates that are full wraps for mugs, templates that are full mat wraps for the tumblers. Somebody asked me that in the comments yesterday. So yes, and I'll be doing really cool ones because that's almost why I didn't wanna do all these because I was like, I wanna have full coverage templates ready. How long does the print out last if you are storing it? Great question. This has been stored in for over a year so if this doesn't turn out which i know it will because i have pulled from this many times to play with this um so i'm gonna say at least a year as long as it's in like room temperature or didn't get exposed to extreme heat or um didn't get messed up or scratched like i think they can store pretty long i don't know the actual science on that and i don't know if anybody's done the testing of it because sublimation is such a new concept. It's really not, but it is to the crafting world. So, okay, can you guys see this? I'm gonna lift it up a bit because I want you guys to see the magic, but there's a sensor little tip in the bottom that your product sits on. And so I guess it would be kind of hard to do the tumbler like this because it's not gonna hit that sensor. So we'll definitely have to test different things with that but the mug sits on it and it um tells it to go and there's no watch so it's gonna automatically close around the object and then it's going to auto start counting and i don't know when the button is actually needed i think it's just the power and the set button it does all the work it does the pressure sensing it does the um so the sen the setting i have it set on is the middle setting which is the correct time that i needed for my mug and the heat is set to the middle setting as well whatever that is but if you are going to get this you're need you're going to need to learn the settings but um i just wanted a demo on it to show you the factory settings work great for the mugs um, but it does all the work for you again, use it in a ventilated area because it is sublimation. Also, what I noticed was it blinks at the first light for a really long time. And it seems like it's going to take a really long time, but as soon as it hits like a certain dot, it goes quicker. Like it's not 
even distribution of time between each light. It is, yeah, I sound really techy, but I'm realizing these things are needed to be said sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna prep a couple more mugs. Um, I'm gonna do a teacher one and a, um, a scrub life one in honor of the fact that we are gearing up for our superhero slash first responder slash uh, medical SVG features, which, and teachers, because teachers are superheroes. So, ooh, almost did that upside down. I'm wondering if I, okay, so don't judge me, but what I'm gonna be doing with my mugs, that's why I'm only doing one side right now, is I'm doing two different themes on them, probably because these are gonna be for photo props for our membership files so that we can show off what we offer. Uh, so one side might say scrub life and the other one might say mama bear for the little puzzle piece autism guy, which I'm saying that because it's right here. So I'm going to do that. I guess I could do, try to stay with the same theme, but these are definitely for photos for us. So then I'll, then I'm like, okay, who am I going to give this to? Somebody who fits both sides? I don't know, but for this purpose, maybe I'll just do one side, just in case I wanna give these away later for fundraisers or holidays or whatever. So on this one, we'll do um, Teacher Fuel because I like that one. And again, this is an SVG, so it's in red, but it can be pulled into Canva and printed in different colors as well. So maybe you have a teacher in your life that loves a certain sports team you can make it the sports team color um which oh that would be cool i could set up the templates so that they're svgs so you can change the background colors or you can maybe i'll do the templates in canva so you could pattern fill the backgrounds would you guys like me to do a canva templates because i've thought about that too um because that would be super easy to do for you guys Okay, so it binged when it hit two and then it's blinking at the third one. And this is what made me realize, especially when I was using the Cricut one, um, set it up with the school colors. Right, so because it's an SVG and I don't wanna just make the sublimation and assume what color you want, because it's an SVG, you can pull it in a camera, change it to the colors of the school, change it to the holiday that you're working on or, or something like, we all need the different colors. So I will do some more videos on that, but I do have that video on, on Canva and how to do that as well. Um, okay, so see, it's blinking at the last one. So it, it did that da ding sound, and then it was at the third one, and now it's already at the last one. So that's what I meant by it seems like it's gonna take forever. And now it's done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, Again, got to find my sublimation. We're going to let that sit and we're going to do another one. We're going to do the teacher fuel. Lint roll. You should really lint roll before you do any of this too. We're going to do just do mugs today. So I have this. I'm going to make sure this one's straight while we're waiting. Um, yeah. So let me answer some questions while we're waiting on this next one. Because you saw the magic of one and I will reveal the next one for you guys. So I have the five in one heat press and I, that one does mugs well. And then the subly fun that we just demoed yesterday can do probably two mugs at the same time, but it's not auto. Like this is cute and it's super simple and it's cheaper than the Cricut mug press. So it's like, what are the factors that make you want this over the mug press? Uh, some of the comments I saw on this was like, well, why would Cricut need to charge so much? Or how are they making knockoffs of Cricut? And I was like, um, what program do you use for your designs? I'll answer that in a second. But in reality, Cricut, all Cricut products are made in China. So all dupes are made in China. So they have the technology to be able to create the same things that Cricut creates. That's just the world of the products world that we live in. Um, so, what do I use for design? I use a mixture of things because I like to design all the things. My favorite is InDesign, but that's when I'm creating printables. Illustrator for um, SVGs. 
and and silhouette studio but i like two different things i like the pen tool in illustrator to be able to vectorize details and things and then i like silhouette studio for the simplicity of using text so if i'm using a design with text i also like um, pattern filling in so sublimation but I will take an SVG I've designed in Illustrator and I will turn it into a sublimation file in Silhouette Studio the designer edition um, and then I also love Canva for promotional material making my promo of my SVGs using that for my mock-ups um, I will have a video on how to use our mock-ups with Canva because our membership does offer hundreds of mock-ups in Bella Canvas tees and we are going to be doing lots of more fun photo shoots for you, booking different size models, doing some more flat lays for you guys. So um, we wanna make sure that you guys know how to use those and I like using Canva. Do you use Photoshop? I don't, I actually don't like Photoshop or After Effects, which is in the video editing editing world, but they're just too techy in a realm that I don't wanna be in. So Photoshop is for photos, web design. It's for specific things. And when people are trying to use Photoshop for designing, it can get a little messy because when you export, you're not necessarily exporting in vector. Um, so SVG stands for scalable vector graphic or vectorized graphic. Can't remember if it's vector or vectorized. What a vector image is, is a mathematical image that will scale to massive or tiny sizes without losing its, um, it won't pixelate. So a Photoshop is in pixels. And so if you were to create like a logo out of Photoshop so like this is why it's important to use designers who actually know this stuff because if you hire a, a designer to make you a logo and they do it in Photoshop that might work great on your business cards on your products like these but what's gonna happen when you get really big because you're gonna um, and you want to have a billboard your logo is not going to scale to the size of the billboard um, we're going to let that sit and we're going to do another one and we'll do the reveal of all three at the same time as we continue to talk about tech stuff. Hey, Ashley. Um, so vectorized images are really, really important in the whole world of the things that we do. So they're very important in the cutting world because they're not pixelated, which means your cuts are gonna be very smooth. If you've ever, and a lot of people do this right in the beginning stages of cutting with a Cricut or whatever machine they're using, they'll go onto Google and they'll find an image and they'll erase the background or it'll be a JPEG or a PNG and it's clear looking, but it's still pixels. So sometimes those cuts can be like really crazy and then people think that their machine is broken when in reality it's you're using a pixelated image. So you don't wanna do that. And um, that's why having designers who know how to use vectors, and then these are vectors that when you pull them into Canva, they change in the layers and then you can export them as a PNG or a JPEG to print them. So I guess I will have to tell you guys to like, make sure you're ex exporting in printable PDF or whatever you need to export in so that this doesn't look blurry on your project as well. So lots of things that go into the design world. It's it's a whole world and yeah, lots of, I went to college for it, but I would say there's ways to get around that, especially with YouTube now and people who are willing to teach for free, but it's hard to know all the things you're supposed to know. So I know we've been asked to do um, courses and when we do come out with design courses they will be a part of our business membership for sure because those are invaluable skills that you can learn what is the uh best to make png with vibrant colors that's the problem i'm having i use silhouette um inkscape and free version of canva so that is another thing is colors um, learning about colors, CMYK versus RGB is one is for printing and one is for visually looking at on a computer. So if you're using a program that's using 
RGB and then you go to print in CMYK, it is going to change the colors a bit. So um, when you export in PDF for print, that's really helpful. Um, and then your printer really has a lot to do with that too and your ink. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, but when using a PNG, you want to export in like the highest quality if and for print. And it depends on what program. If you're using those three programs, I'm not super sure of exactly how to do that. But on Canva, um, and I don't know about the free version of Canva, what you can and cannot export. But exporting PDF print is probably the best way to get that crisp PNG printed out like that. But again, you have to be using a PNG image that's already high res and quality when you bring it in. I didn't see a cord. Is it plugged in? It is. It's plugged in. And I debated. I was like, do I plug it in live or do I not plug it in live? Because I know you guys like to see me struggle. But with the last two machines, I was like, that was a lot of dead airspace when I was plugging it in. And I think they understand it. But the cord on this is about the same as Tuesdays, um, month, yesterday's. Uh, it's about, this one might be shorter. It's like three feet. Okay, we did three mugs and we're 26 minutes in. That's what I asked, Bev. Okay, sorry, I didn't, I don't know if I got all your answers. So I'm just gonna turn it off. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, that's a start button too. So let's, well, I don't have anything printed. I don't wanna waste any of these, but that doesn't get tight enough for this. I just wanna see something. Can I cancel this? Yeah. Okay, so that starts and cancels it. Um, this is only used for the mugs. So if I put that on there and I press this, I just wanna see if it'll like sense something's in there. Nope. Okay, so it, it definitely only closes to bigger than this, so not super tight, which I was really excited about it if it would do that. And I know there's hacks, which is what I was trying to do in my Cricut mug press before it went kabert on me. Um, so how do I turn it off? Hold it? Yeah, so you press hold. Now, if I wanted to change the settings, I would press hold. And then it turns orange and then, and then it starts to blink and I can press the button and it'll change the light to where I want it. But the, again, if you get this, the manual is very good at explaining that. I didn't know that. So when I went into it, I was like pressing. So you guys just didn't get to see that today. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off because we are gonna do the reveal of the mugs. I'm not gonna like double press or anything. I just wanna see if it'll work on the settings that it was set at. Um, maybe the tumbler has to be as wide as the mug. Yeah, if the tumbler was as wide as the mug, it would work just fine. This is still very hot. Was this the first one I did? Yeah, it's just very hot. I, um, because I'm going to camp, I've been taking my nails off. So I'm like, uh, look at how pretty that is. Okay, oh, okay. So we got a little spot that did a little ghosting. And I think it's because it was the part that was right on that seam. So if you're on that seam, it's gonna be a little hard. So I could have either moved this over just a bit or I could have made sure that the mug was rotated because I, I did see that right away. Like it was rotated just a little bit so that that pressure wasn't right on that edge. But everywhere else got a really good solid seal and these are washable never will come off like it's not sitting on the ceramic it is infused into the ceramic i think people know that but maybe you don't and you're like what in the magical beans is this this one's still very hot but i want to reveal them because i don't want to waste all of your guys's time today oh that one turned out real cute teacher fuel and this SVG, I believe, is two layers, so you can change it to two different colors if you wanted to make a teacher fuel one. Cute, right? I know. These are, and that, like I said, we'll do, I'm not a huge fan of the wrap that, like, just ends on the sides, but I do want to do some more things that will maybe do, like, a pattern on the tops with, like, some cute things that go all the way around or some, like, Valentine's-y or pop polka dots you know cute ones that will go 
all the way around the mug, specifically for the mugs. Okay, this one's still very hot because you just got out of the oven, my friend. Okay, this is the scrub life. Hot, hot. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, okay. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so it says scrub life and it's in teal and black. You could do, I don't know, the nurse's favorite colors. I don't know, but there's so many options and colors really do tell a big story. So changing the colors of the design is really helpful, but look how cute. I'm really obsessed and I love the fact that there's two sides. So if you wanted to do two different things on them, you could, but you could also do the same thing. Um, my gloves, I don't know. I need to reset up my buckets for all my different styles of lives for sure because I'm gonna be live a lot. After getting all these machines so quickly and I have more people reaching out from Amazon that wanna send more stuff, I'm like, I'm not saying no anymore because this is too much fun to play with all these things. Um, so I'm gonna do like a little mini press showdown, all the mini presses because I have probably every brand and I have a bunch of brands that wanna send me more. Um, Tay, please go find the gloves. Thank you for thinking of my fingers. I really didn't burn my hands that much. The handles aren't hot, just the cup is hot. So my nail was easy to get in there. Okay, so this is the Vivor mug press. What do you guys want me to test out in it? What do you want me to do with it? Send me comments in the comment. I read every comment on every YouTube video ever. Um, so if you're watching the replay or you, I did not get to your comment on the live, message me or comment down in the comments and I will either read it or respond to it. I will heart it, means I read it. Um, but if it's something that I can answer right there, but if it's a video you want me to do, or if it's a hack you want me to try, or if it's an Amazon product you want me to try out, let me know. Um, because guys, they're coming in hot with the heat press mock-ups and dupes and all the things. And with this HTV run, auto press I'm like what is coming out next because I feel like they're just literally on the same pace as Cricut right now so 108 on Vivor and 117 on Amazon so this is 117 on Amazon right now um sorry I missed Prime Day sorry I didn't really care about that that much because I have a lot going on in my life right now so I really just didn't care about Prime Day I feel like there's always a lot going on right around Prime Day and then it comes and I'm like I should be a part of that, but I don't really want to. So um, hope you guys found good deals on Prime Day if you were looking for them. I'm not, I'm never like one to say go buy something just cause it's on sale. If you were looking for something and waiting for Prime Day, that's what it's, that's where it's at. Must you use Cricut mugs? No, absolutely not. These are not Cricut mugs. These are Amazon mugs um, that come in little boxes, which I really love this because for the Christmas time, I'm gonna be stocking a lot of these and during Christmas um, talking about like gift basket ideas and fun things that you could DIY for people easily and quickly, like these mugs um, and a lot of other things because I'm all about the theme of the gift, not necessarily the cost of the gift. And if you can take something and elevate it really cute and make bulk amounts of them for everybody in different themes so that it's more personalized, that person feels really special and um, I feel like as you get older, your Christmas list grows quite a bit with kids being born and all the things. So are there off brand mugs? Yes. So, okay. I want to get off brand, meaning there's a lot of brands coming out. Like Subly Fun is a brand. They're the ones who sent me the mug press, the tumbler press. And then they sent me some tumblers and then they were like, only use these ones. Cause we just realized these ones aren't our brand. And it's like, okay, well, just because it's branded doesn't mean it's any better. It's just branded, if that makes sense. So Cricut's getting their mugs from the same country, continent as all the off-brand mugs. Do they all work the same? Probably not. But if you want me to do a mug showdown with each different Amazon style of mug, I can do that. But most of them work pretty dang good. Um, okay. I love you guys. I will see you guys when I get back from camp. Again, we'll be, we'll be doing a ton of fun things this, um, 
ramp up to school starting and back into the fall type stuff since I kind of took a break. I will not have a schedule. I literally will just be going live and this week I was able to do it three times. So I'm loving that. I'm living for that. So I will be just, if a new machine comes, I'll go live with it. Um, mug showdown. I will have probably so much fun at camp, Jill. I am so excited and um, I have been uh, excited to go back to this camp. Cause if you guys remember last year's camp that I told you about boat camp, who was here for the boat camp experience explanation? Cause if you weren't, that was a week of what the heck is my life and where am I? <laughs> but this year we are going back to a really, really amazing camp that I haven't been to for two years. And Landis is going with me. This is actually my last year of having kids at two different camps next year. Lord willing, they are both going to be at camp with me. And this is my camp. I've been going here forever. So the shoe, oh, the shoe is gone. The shoe is at the bottom of Lake Shasta and I will never have that shoe back. So um, new here, where do I start with converting JPEG and PNG to SVGs? Woo, girl, that is a design skill that you're going to need to learn a little bit about more. But we do have goals to have a full design program on the business membership. However, the business membership will go up once design courses are implemented. The business membership is now $300 for the whole year. We got rid of the monthly um, option for business membership unless you were already a monthly. You can stay a monthly member. member. But from now on, it is $300 for the whole year. It's gonna be a great investment for you guys. We try to do our best to work alongside what you guys need and that will actually help us know our business members even better because we know that you're actually invested in your business and you're not just trying something out. You're ready to run and rock and roll. So I love you guys. I'll see you guys in a week and like a week and a half pretty much, okay? Lots of fun things.